multiple pathologies you will see, not pathologies, rather uh, congenital anomalies. Now, this, this is the left side of, and we are seeing the supreme, uh, and what is no noted is that the left kidney is absent. We do not see the left kidney in its normal lumbar location. The left kidney from, even from the back, prone position posture, there is no evidence of kidney. You see the vertebral column, vertebral, but here, as I move up, no evidence of the uh, left kidney. Now, this is the right side, and again now here, they were with absent right kidney in a sense that uh, you see the isles of muscle, this is the liver, here. the kidney should have been seen here, but the kidney is not here in this normal number of region location. So where is the kidney? The patient is alive. And uh, as I move the probe in the pelvic region, patient is pregnant. We'll go over there. Now, this patient is 31 weeks pregnant, normal. No anomaly seen relating to the fetus. It's a normal pregnancy of uh, 31 weeks. Now, placenta is okay. There is nothing uh, remarkable to be mentioned regarding the pregnancy, but it's a 31 weeks pregnancy. Now, as I move the probe towards the right side, right iliac, right lower lumbar abdomen, uh, right lower abdominal quadrant, here you see a reniform shaped structure, and below it, this one, this is the source muscle, and this is the kidney. This area is an ectopic low lying right pelvic kidney of right side, measuring 11.9 into 4.0 mm. As, uh, sorry, uh, centimeters. The central sinus echo complex is muffled, there is mild fullness of calluses, and uh, the kidney is mal rotated. However, the echogenicity of the uh, uh, all the ectopic kidneys usually uh, they appear a little brighter than normal as we are seeing here uh, if we want to see whether it's working normal or not let's see the saban carpeta Sandy then, Sabban. Patient is taking the breath, making me, it making it difficult. But however, you can make out that uh, the waveform is normal. I'll do it again. This is the ec right ectopic kidney. And let's see the waveform. Ri. And uh, <coughs> SD ratio. So uh, the RI is 0.72, normally is up to 7. And uh, SD ratio is 3.51, normally is up, is up to 3. So a little increase in the uh, parameters. Again, I'm showing you this. Uh, Right kidney, right ectopic kidney. This is the transverse section. Longitudinal, transverse.
ਬੇਟਾ ਸਾਹ ਬੰਦ ਕਰ ਲੈ ਸੋ ਆਲ ਦੀ ਵੇਵ ਫਾਰਮਸ ਆਰ ਕੰਸਿਸਟੈਂਟ ਵਿਦ ਦੈਟ ਆਫ ਰੀਨਲ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਐਕ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਲੋ ਲਾਈਨ ਪੈਲਵਿਕ ਕਿਡਨੀ and you see it is with its mar it appears to be mar rotated i am intentionally moving the probe from one artery to the other but as sab band kar la teri mehr ban see this is a this is a better way for with also oh, with an RI of velocity 25.6 cm RI 4.67 which is normal with a normal and this is the sd ratio systolic and diastolic 2.78 so it's working normal so normal ectopic normal functioning ectopic kid, uh, right kidney absent uh, both kidneys are absent from their respective lumbar region and here in the gall bladder of the same patient we see sludge with a calculus now this is a calculus this is the gall bladder this is small amount of sludge this is the photo vein so this is the case with multiple pathologies one case thank you very much